Hi, I'm Mike Champo. Welcome to Training Minutes. In today's segment, we're going to go over the HUD window. It's a protective covering over windows. It's used to secure vacant buildings so no intruders can get in. It's very easy to recognize. You'll see two 2x4s across, an upper and a lower cross brace, and a large piece of plywood. On the inside, behind this, there'll be a cross brace. This cross brace is usually connected by threaded rod. What you will do is, it runs completely through the window, and this is back there spanning the window frame, so that if you just break this board off, there's two, still two 2x4s two securing this in place. There's numerous ways to attack this. We can use hand tools, we can use power tools. One of the methods that we're going to show you is taking the point of the halogen, and if the 2x4s are worn and weathered, we may be able to just split them with the point, and we'll be able to break the 2x4s. Once we break the 2x4s, the bolt head is still going to be here. We'll have to drive that through the plywood to push this back in. That will release the inside brace. What we have to be careful of is once we remove the outer braces and knock the carriage bolts in or the threaded rod, that this whole sheet doesn't take off and fly. This is especially true when you're working on an upper floor. There's also another technique that you can use is just taking your axe and splitting the 2x4s, coming in and splitting and trying to break them to release these bolts. I'm going to line it up and go a little bit slower. An older method was, with two firefighters, to put this halogen behind here, pry outward, and then somebody would take the bolt cutters and get into that space and try to snap the threaded rod. It's a little more difficult and you can see how much room you need to get in there to get the bolt cutter in. A simpler method is to use your iron saw. In today's world, everybody's using abrasive blades or they're using carbide or diamond tip blades. Uh, in this video, we're going to use an abrasive disc. And what we're going to do is, we're going to come in on a diagonal angle and we're going to cut the 2x4 and the bolt head. Most firemen don't think that a composite blade will cut wood. It actually burns right through it. So we'll go into both positions and we'll cut. One other safety point to mention here is, if you have another available fireman or you're operating on the upper floors, one firefighter would cut top and bottom, and this firefighter here would take the point of the halogen and he'd drive it in, securing the piece of plywood. Now when he cut the other ones, in case the 2x4 braces on the inside would fall, he'd still have the sheet of the plywood. It wouldn't go flying and injure another fireman on the fire ground. Now we're going to demonstrate using the iron saw. Remember, we're going to start the saw, and when we cut this, we're going to start slow. We're going to try to burn the starter groove in here. If we go full RPM, she might run on us. Anytime we use the abrasive blade with metal or wood, we're going to try to start slow and get that starter initial kerf to go, and then we'll go full RPM with the saw. Remember, always size these up. In this installation, they put them in backwards. You have the threaded bolt coming out through. You can see on the lower section, it's just a carriage head. Sometimes they'll recess them, they'll hit them with a hammer to get them deep into the 2x4 and they makes it harder to get at them.
as you can see, I came in with slow RPMs. I tried to bring it up to full RPMs once I got my groove cut in the wood. The abrasive blade cut right through the wood. It actually burns through it. We're going on an angle, and all of a sudden you can see the head of the bolt pop right out. If you notice, up top, when we cut them, the 2 by 4s are already starting to fall off. Right, we just have to be careful when we're operating. That's why I started on one side, cut up, cut low. I let that side go. I came to the side, I cut the other two. I'm out of the direct window path, and I have the safety of the building to protect me. Next, our objective is we're going to either pull this off and drive the rod back into the building to release the top, and the same for the bottom. Sometimes they'll pull right off, exposing the threaded rod. Now the window is still held up by the cross brace. What we can do is just get a tool and bang these back in. Once we knock both back in, we have to be careful when the cross braces fall, the whole sheet can go flying. I'm Mike Champo. Thanks for watching this segment of Training Minutes.